Hey, I'm Clayton. I'm Taryn. We are a little company called Bipolar Visuals that specializes in products for the DSLR camera. What kind of products, you may ask? Everything, really. But the product we want to talk about today is our newest product in a line of DSLR camera rigs. This one is called the Passion Aggression Chassis. It's big, it's bulky, it's expensive, and it has everything you need. Cup holder, dice, several gripping points, mat box, and a built-in boom mic with a custom baby seal fur windscreen. You might be asking yourself, why should I buy this? I'll tell you why. Because, okay, let's say you show up and all you have is a small little camera, okay? Not good enough. You need something much bigger, much bulkier. I think what Taryn is trying to say is that oftentimes, as a DSLR filmmaker, you'll show up to a set or you'll show up to a shoot and you'll have this tiny little camera in your hands and you'll just end up thinking, why am I so small? I'm unprepared. Unprepared, unprofessional. You feel small and insecure and those aren't things you want to feel when you're, when you're on a shoot. You want to feel confident. You want to feel prepared. You want to feel like you're better than everybody else. And that's the point of filmmaking. I think that's why we all do it, is we want to feel better than everybody else. Of course. And what the Passion Aggression chassis does is it gives you that. It, it's your Corvette when you're 60 years old, you know? It's, it's the muscle car that you buy when you're over the hill. Who doesn't like muscle cars? No, and who doesn't like muscles? And the Passion Aggression chassis, it's so heavy that you, you build muscle while you're at it. So, now, as a filmmaker, you may ask yourself, what is more important? The final product or your appearance on set? I'll let it sink in for a second. The answer? Your appearance on set. Exactly. How you look on set says everything about who you are as a filmmaker. The final product, you can put out crap, but if people think you're awesome on set, that's all that matters. You'll get the work. Let's just bypass all of the tripods, all of the necessary filmmaking equipment, and, and let's go big. That's our motto, go big or go home. The Passion Aggression chassis is overly big. We know that, we're not idiots. We're not morons. No. We know it's huge. I mean, every day this guy comes to me and he says, let's make it bigger. It should be bigger, but it's good. Another awesome thing about the Passion Aggression chassis is that it requires an assistant. How many other DSLR rigs can claim that they need an assistant to run? Now what this assistant does is he runs audio and he runs the power cord. The power cord controls everything. So much. This thing is wired for power so you can plug in audio stuff. We need to make it bigger because- What if we added more dice? Hmm. Or it's just bigger dice. That's a good point. Bigger dice. Because the small dice doesn't go with what the rest of the unit is all about. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And, and the small dice would also help counterbalance it a little bit more. Definitely, definitely. And we could charge more. Oh, definitely, with, I mean, with everything being bigger. You know, and we could add customization to the dice too. You could have different you, colors. Right, you could get white. You could get red, one could be green for Christmas time. We wanted to offer some unique properties and what this one offers is the ability to turn without turning, if that makes sense. So wrap you, your head around that, You huh? turn your body like this, but, but what you can do with our product is it's on swivels so you can just turn. And just point the camera, you can point it up into the sun you can, you know... Actually, it's not it. a good idea to point uh, the camera lens directly at the sun. It's just, matter-of-factly speaking, uh, that could do damage to the lens. Uh, it's irreplaceable. You done? Yes. It's just the thing is, is that if you did it, and the sunbeams directly went into the lens, the actual inner workings of the lens could damage. Uh, do you know what I mean when I say I that? know, don't point at the sun. I, I just, it's kind of a big deal. We already talked about we have the maximum width per length. If we do that, then we need to add more counterweights, we need to add more matte box. So in closing, our product comes out next summer, despite any setbacks. This product will change your life. It'll get you jobs that you don't deserve. It'll make people think you're a lot better than you actually are. 
and it'll give you the freedom to produce total crap and keep getting jobs because people think you look professional. So if you want any of those things, buy our product. All right, that's good. That's good? Yeah. You were only here for three hours. That's all you wanted. That's all you need. We wanted you to come film our promo. Uh, we didn't think you'd show up with a tripod and a... Oh, what is that? I can't even see. Is that a Canon T2i? Yeah. <laughs> okay. You guys... That's not even <laughs> funny. <laughs> Where's your rig? I don't have a camera rig. We make these rigs for a living. They're essential to filmmaking. You can't sit there and tell me you did this project with no camera rig! Um, I don't know what you want me to say. Amateur. Amateur. What lens? What, what, what lens do you have on that thing? I just sat here and listened to you say that your appearance on set is more important than the final product. Right? Of course. You guys are morons. It has nothing to do with the camera you use, has nothing to do with whether or not you have a rig. It has nothing to do with equipment at all. Creativity. That's what matters. That's all that matters. You know what, young lady? I've got news for you. You can leave. Send my final check in the mail, okay? Will do. Not like you deserve it. Not like you earned it. I think it should be bigger. We need to make it bigger. We will. Good.